it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. This video is the third in my Copying the Model series. So I've done H&M, I did Tour It, and obviously we're doing Lane Bryant in this video. So if you're not familiar with this series or if maybe this is the first video of mine that you're watching, basically what I do is I go to a brand's website and I buy the entire outfit that I like on a model versus just a top or a bottom. I'll buy... The entire thing and then we sit here and I show you what I bought tell you how much money I spent what size I ordered and then I'll show you what it looks like on me versus what it looks like on a model I think this is really important um, because not all bodies are the same not all people wear the same size not all plus size people look the same in a top or a bottom or a dress or a swimsuit even so I am typically a size 20 I can safely say that if I order a 20 in most brands, it will fit. However, sometimes it's a little snug and I need a 22. Sometimes it's a little big and I'll order an 18. The models on Lane Bryant's website, I want to say if I remember correctly, are more like a 12, 14, sometimes a 16. And some brands, I have seen them um, bringing in even larger plus size models, probably a 22, 24. So it just depends on where you shop what um, size variations they have in the model. So for Lane Bryant, I spent quite a bit of money. I spent $403.37 and most things I did get a percentage off or use a discount code or something. I always try to use those, but I ended up getting, I wanna say five complete outfits. So before we get into it, everything that I try on, including sizes, will be listed in the description box down below. I'll also leave my measurements. I've been doing that probably for the last couple of months on try on videos, I get a lot of questions and I understand because you want to see how it would look compared to your body shape and size and all that stuff. So I leave my measurements down below as well. And I'll also leave a link to my first two copying the model series videos. If you're interested, you can watch those. And if you hear something weird, Cash is eating a bone right here next to me. All right, first thing that I want to show you is a swimsuit. I've seen a couple of other YouTubers try this on and it was adorable. So I had to get it myself. So it's this high-waisted, almost like a seersucker type feel pattern. It is red and white striped around the band, blue and white striped with little red stars. This is the bottom. And then the top is adorable. It's got this like layover, like flutter. I think these are so flattering. Look how cute. So this is the top and then underneath here is the red and white stripe. So this has no underwire, but it is padded. It's very structured. You can see, if you can see, it kind of stands up on its own. So I got the top in a size 20 and I believe I got the bottom in the same size. Yeah, the bottom is also in a size 20. This is such good quality. I've never tried on or even owned a Lane Bryant swimsuit before and the quality of this is great. So they were having a deal on swim that day. So I ended up getting the bottoms were regular price $44.95. I paid $28.57 for them. And the top was originally $50.95. And I paid $32.38. The deal was buy one piece, get the second for $10. So I guess they just kind of even it out on your ticket that way. So this swimsuit, I in theory think that I could have sized up because the bottoms and the top are a little bit snug. But then when I think about it, I think I would rather my swimsuit be a little snug than a little loose. All right, so this is a super cute swimsuit. High waist bottoms, the top and the bottoms are both navy and white stripes with little red stars on them. And then you've got this under piece here, which is red and white stripes. It's cute, like I said, very high waisted even in the back up here. You could also meet the two, like if you were a little unsure about showing any part, you could make those two meet. It is a little bit cheeky as well, if you're okay with that. So I do think this one is really cute if you can cash in on that deal that they were having, buy one piece, get the other piece for 10 bucks, because this is cute. Next is this beautiful, beautiful jumpsuit. What I like about it, I think, is the sleeves. It's not sleeveless or spaghetti strap, which a lot of things that I've been trying on recently are. Look at that pattern. I mean, come on. I grabbed this one in a size 22. It has a zip up the back, ties in the waist. The legs are a little bit cropped and they're a little wide. I thought they would be a little bit more tapered, which I don't hate, but I think a little tapered would have been more flattering for me. This one, fits good. I could have sized down in my opinion. It's just a little bit big around the stomach area and the chest, 
But other than that, it's really pretty great quality as well. So this is called the Dolman Sleeve Jumpsuit. It was originally $70.99 and I paid $47.55. How adorable is this jumpsuit? I love the pattern on it. I think this would be really cute for brunch or church or maybe to a wedding, depending on the type of wedding and where the venue is. You know, you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding, but this has a little bit of extra to it. It has pockets. How cute. It's got little cropped um, legs. It's right above the ankles. So you could wear cute little heels. I love the sleeves being a little bit longer, the tie waist. It zips up the back. Like, I just feel like this is such a flattering little jumpsuit. It's so cute. I love the pockets. It's very good quality too. It's really thick. Um, you can't see through it anywhere. I was wearing a different color pair of underwear earlier, tried it on and you couldn't see through. They were really dark. So I think that this is a cute outfit. If you need something nice um, for like a nice event or a little occasion or something, pair this with some little black heels and you got an outfit. Next outfit, I couldn't find the exact matching bottoms, so we improvised. But the top is this sleeveless, like camo green colored tank top. I grabbed this in a size 22, 24, but then when you see the bottom, how fun is that? I love the tassels and they're like that green color, pink, hot pink, yellow, and navy. Yeah. This is adorable and it's long enough and it's this like great soft material. Let's see what kind of material it is because I'm telling you it's so soft. It is 96% rayon, 4% spandex. So I guess if I'm remembering correctly from y'all commenting, it will shrink. Let me know. <laughs> because this one was also a little bit baggier. So I could have sized down, but the look that I was going for, like the bottoms that I paired it with, I don't need to size down. So now the bottoms, these are just active wear leggings. They're like those ones that come just above the ankle. The model was just wearing regular white leggings, but I couldn't find those anywhere on the website. So I had to go to the active wear section to find these. I grabbed these in a 22-24 and they're a little bit, they're not snug like leggings should be. So I think I could have sized down in these as well, but you can't see through these. So if you're looking for a pair of white leggings that you can actually work out in and you can't see through, you need to try these. So the top was originally $39.95. That's what I paid for it. And then we have the leggings were $39.95 and that's what I paid for them as well. Another successful outfit in my opinion. I love this. I think this is super summery. Granted, these aren't the same bottoms that the model was wearing. These are just active wear leggings that I found, but they're not see-through at all. So if you're interested in a pair of white leggings to work out in, then these are your go-to. Obviously, they'll be linked down below. Okay, this, this top, I love this green color. Y'all know that, but I think that this top just fits perfect, but this top is my favorite. The leggings, not so much. They're a little bit big, like they're not as snug as I would want them, but the top with a pair of like white ripped jeans would be so cute. The next outfit is three pieces. It was probably my most favorite one when I ordered this entire thing for Lane Bryant for this video. All right, so we'll start with the top. It is this really pretty like coral, like pinky coral color. Just top, it says take it easy. It's cute. I grabbed this one in a 22-24. It actually fits a little bit snug, but I think it's meant to fit snug. I think. <laughs> and the model had it paired with these denim shorts with tassels on the bottom. How adorable are these? The tassels are purple, blue, like purple, light blue, navy, and orange. These are so cute. They're light wash with a little bit of distressing, you can tell on there. I grabbed these in a size 22 because... I have two pair of shorts from Lane Bryant, like denim shorts. One is an 18 and one is a 20. And I bought those a couple years ago for my honeymoon. And when I bought them, they were a little bit snug, but they did stretch. So I figured it would be safe to size up to a 22, but I don't, I didn't need to. These were a little bit baggy. All right, so these shorts, and then to top it off, she was wearing the most beautiful cardigan. You'll see it soon in the try on portion. I couldn't find that exact cardigan on the website, so I just went with this one. It's like a big sweater. Like that's what it, it reminds me of. It is in a size 22-24. It's oversized, it's perfect, it's just, it's so cute. All right, so let's talk prices now. The textured sweater over piece is what they call it, $34.99. Originally, I paid $23.44 for it. Let's talk shorts. These are called the Girlfriend Denim Short 
tassel frayed hem. They were originally $59.95. I paid $46.32. And then the top Take It Easy graphic tee was $19.99, and that's what I paid for it. So this outfit was probably my most favorite one when I picked out all the ones on Lane Bryant's website. This was the one that I was most excited for. I just think it's really cute. Like it could be like a late night or like evening, like little outfit you throw on to run to dinner. Like nowhere nice, obviously, but just like, I don't know, the cardigan reminds me of something that you'd wear in the evenings in the summertime. It's not the exact same cardigan on the website. I couldn't find that one, but I found this one similar. I love the little tassels. I love the shirt. It says, take it easy. Um, and I, too, I do too think that if I were to get the proper size in the shorts, then they would be a little bit shorter. And I think that I would like them a little bit better. And the very last outfit, when I spotted this one on the model, I thought it was actually a romper, like a one piece, but it's two pieces. And I kind of like that even better. All right. So it is this beautiful purple off the shoulder. It's just it's it's amazing i love it i grabbed this one in a size 22 24. i wonder what fabric this is because it doesn't say maybe it's on the other side because it's really soft and it kind of reminds me of like a linen blend fabric so it's 60 percent cotton and 40 percent rayon all right so then the bottoms that i paired it with are the exact same pattern they're just like elastic waistband shorts they do have a little tie on them the bottom has this really cute little like ball detail why did i just have a brain fart you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> all right i also grabbed these in a size 22 24 i didn't want this tight at all i wanted it to be loose and free feeling i mean if you're gonna wear it in the summertime when it's 600 degrees outside me anyways i don't want anything that is super snug on me. I'm trying to find out what fabric these are, but I'm gonna go out on a limb. I can't find it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that they're the exact same fabric as the top. So this set, the top was originally $49.95 and that's what I paid for it. The bottoms were $49.95 and I paid $38.60. So this outfit is cute. However, I don't think that I needed to size up in the bottoms. I was just worried that they would be a little bit snug. So I sized up, I don't think I needed to. They're also very long and high-waisted. I mean, my belly button is here. So that's quite a bit above my belly button. But the top and the shorts together with it tucked in does actually, in my opinion, kind of look like a little one-piece outfit. I think is really cute. It's very comfortable. But as I was putting this on, I actually tried it on, you know, had the shirt untucked at first and kind of preferred it that way. So let me show y'all what it looks like. I just felt like this was maybe like a cuter little outfit. What do we think? Yes, no, maybe? Brian, what do you think behind the camera? If you were going out and about or something, I think I like it better untucked. Yeah. If you were like just hanging by the pool, I think tucked. tucked in. Yeah. So that's a wrap on this video. As always, in the comment section down below, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. I read every single comment. Um, I know in past videos for this series, we've gotten requests for Old Navy, maybe not Torrid. Um, I know Old Navy is one that sticks out for uh, me to do this kind of copying the model series. So let me know down below what you want to see next in this series. I have like an ongoing list on my phone. So every time someone comments a video, I'll put a check mark next to it or I'll add it to the list if it's one that no one has suggested yet. So let me know what you want to see next and I will do my very best to make it happen. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.